दाम आसियों पर ये बड़ा एहसान गए या खुदा हम आसियों पर ये बड़ा एहसान गए जिंदगी में वे अता हम को किया रमदान गए अलमकुम वरम वरक अलहमदिल्लासलम रसूल वाल वजिज part of our akhlaq our character and that is us sidq speaking the truth in our conversation in our chats in our you know guftugu we should never ever lie we should always be speaking the truth allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as says in quran fa naj'al la'nat allah 'ala al-kadhibin that means those who lie they get the deserve the la'na the curse of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us inshallah when i say speak the uh, speak the truth of course most of us we do that i know alhamdulillah intentionally nobody lies maybe people do lie in front of their employers in front of their bosses or maybe some kids they lie in front of their parents but when they have no fear they do not lie but there is one hadith i'm going to quote and another portion i'm going to do the other side of the picture but actually most of us are intentionally we become part of a lie so the hadith i'm going to quote allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as beloved nabi prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam says alaykum bis sidqi fa inna as-sidq yahdi ila al-birri wal birru yahdi ila al-jannah وإن الرجل لا يصدق حتى يكتب عند الله صديقا الله سبحانه وتعالى بلا والنبي prophet محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم says always speak the truth you should always speak the truth because truth takes you leads you towards obedience of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and obedience leads you towards jannah when a person he keeps speaking the truth Allah سبحانه وتعالى writes his name as a title of siddiq always truthful person and there is in the same hadith rasulullah says alaykum wal kidh fa inna al kidh ba yahdi ila al fujur wal fujur yahdi ila al nar wa inna ar rajula la yaktub la yakdhib hatta yuktab inda allah kadhab always always stay away from lies and because lies lead you towards disobedience towards fujur when a per- and uh, fujur leads us towards jahannam when a person he keeps lying all the time his name is written in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the title kadhab the biggest liar so as i said most of us we don't lie intentionally but unintentionally we do how most of us or i miss, i believe all of us we have social media we have whatsapp facebook and instagram and many other platform where we share the messages from others and we never or most of us we don't actually clarify whether if it is truth or not i've seen people share the messages munkar hadith mawdu hadith and wrong translation things which are never you know part of sharia but you got the message and when it says if you send 10 people you will get this much reward people said it immediately without even looking at it and i think 3 days ago I got a message a poster which saying a hadith beautiful hadith and it had two translation arabic urdu and english so arabic was a hadith urdu was uh, the translation and the english i was so shocked to see the translation between urdu and english has no relevance at all absolutely nothing nothing at all it was not wrong but the translation of Uh, in english it was the translation of some other thing in ayah and the translation in urdu was the translation of hadith 
So that's how what happened. We think, oh, I am actually getting reward by sending all of my friends, all of my people. But actually, if it is a lie, if it is something wrong, we are getting, uh, you know, unintentionally we are putting ourselves in adab. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. So make sure, if there's anything you are not sure of, don't send it. إِنْ جَاءَكُمْ فَاسِقُمْ بِنَبَئِنْ فَتَبَيَّنُوا أَنْ تُصِيبُوا قَوْمًا بِجَهَالًا فَتُصْبِحُوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلْتُمْ نَادِمِينَ So, of course, it is not coming from Fasiq. But if, if any news coming from any unauthentic source, and we do not clarify, what happened, Allah says, you should, you know, be aware of it. Because otherwise, you will be ashamed of something which you did not even do intentionally. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Ameen. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.